Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Burns Cradle and you are looking at a screwdriver for now. Um, I did this video and then I thought, hmm, <laughs> with YouTube policy lately, I don't want to get flagged for any kind of doll nudity. So I'm trying to do this as best I can without showing too much or without saying too much. Now, um, I already took the screwdriver and on every back of a baby lab that has a bigger mouth, they will have a removable piece. And I will just show you, I'll pause and show you the very back. Well, maybe I could show the neck. Okay, so here's the back of his head and the down his back has a removable piece, okay? And I cleaned that out with the tap and water and I used cold water and up there is where his mouth opening is. Now, as you can see, um, well, through the camera there, like see those tiny little bits of food uh, it's really hard to clean completely. That's why with the baby alive food, I think it's safer. And the, if you make homemade baby alive food like I do, then make sure that you use baking soda so that nothing ever goes rotten. Or wow, I mean, it's it'll, it will go rotten of course if it's like 10 years old or something. <laughs> but I'm saying baking soda will prolong that process of, of um, decomposing down so um and you could probably imagine what the other side of that is and see i tried drawing it but it's really far down in there okay so it's really hard um but i'll just sorry pan you over there to some q-tips i use those in the crevices where my fingers can't reach and even where this can't reach like you try and squish down kleenex or paper this is napkins anything small and it's still really hard to get there so using q-tips is a really good idea and and yeah and that way you can clean them up a lot better um i use these are premium size diapers they do fit on the dolls so here i'll move my trap on <laughs> They do fit on the dolls, so I really like that. Um, I just fold them over. Okay, I'm only one hand. I, I've done a video about this before, like, um, that they do fit. I just fold these over like that. And then on here, on this part, I fold it up like this, and then they do fit. I will pause the video and I'll put this new, this new diaper on him and I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how they fit. They're a little bit big, but not too bad. If you, if you fold them over, then this is how they will look on the baby alive. That's my knee. So yeah, I, I like the premium diapers. Apparently there is a micro me diaper out there now um, but for me in Canada I can only buy them online from eBay right at the moment but apparently they are in stores in the States right now so I can't wait for micro preemie to come out to stores up in Canada but for now I will be using the premium size diapers I think that they work and I do enjoy playing with my baby lives so until next time guys thank you so much for watching and Say bye to Francis. I see some gunk right there. Oh no, it's just water, a water droplet. I will dry him up some more and put his clothes back on. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye. Thank you for watching.